27 strange things that only exist in China. From brides crying a month before the wedding, police using geese on duty, purchasing alligator and shark meat at Walmart, to renting a significant other in the blink of an eye. China, with its vastness, harbors numerous peculiar truths that set it apart from the rest of the world. Let's explore the 27 weirdest things in China that will undoubtedly leave you speechless. With customs like ghost weddings, you won't believe they actually exist. Number 27. Hanging burials. A remarkably unique form of burial found only in China is known as hanging burials. Suspending coffins on mountains is a simple understanding of this ancient burial practice in China. Hanging burials, where hanging, implies suspending coffins of the deceased on dangerously steep cliffs, are one of the oldest forms of burial in China. It is believed that the steep cliffs or high caves provide a tranquil place suitable for the soul to rest. From such heights, the departed can gaze upon the blue sky, rivers and mountains separated from the hustle and bustle of the human world. According to local beliefs, hanging coffins on steep cliffs bring the deceased closer to both the higher power and their ancestors. Due to natural influences, older coffins gradually deteriorate, break and fall. People then place them in lower positions. Most new coffins are larger in size and more vibrant in color. Number 26. Ghost Weddings in China. Marrying the deceased, also known as Mingkun, emerged in China in the 17th century BCE. If a young man or woman dies unmarried, it is mandatory to seek a spouse for them. Afterward, they perform divination. If the divination is favorable, a wedding ceremony will be organized. Otherwise, they continue seeking a suitable match through a ghost matchmaker. According to ancient Chinese customs, if a young person engaged and waiting for their wedding day unfortunately passes away, the family must complete the wedding ceremony. Otherwise, the spirit may disturb the peace of the family. If both the bride and groom have passed away, the family uses symbolic figurines. These figurines are treated and conversed with as if they were alive. If the groom is alive and marrying a ghost bride, an image of the bride will be placed on the altar. Number 25. Pre-wedding cry ritual. In typical wedding preparations, brides are expected to be the happiest and most joyful individuals, right? However, in China, the sound of crying before the wedding day signifies filial piety, virtue and intelligence in the bride. Crying during a wedding is a traditional ritual in Chinese weddings. Whether she wants to or not, the bride is obliged to cry before boarding the bridal sedan. The crying symbolizes bidding farewell to parents, relatives and blessings for her married life. According to tradition, the bride must cry for one to three months, or at least one week before her wedding. The louder and more she cries, the more it demonstrates her filial piety, virtue and intelligence. Conversely, if the bride does not cry or cries minimally, the villagers may mock, criticize or even have her parents scold her. The Chinese believe that louder crying signifies a more thoughtful marriage life. Number 24. Transportation system through buildings. If you visit Zhongshan, China, you will be astonished by its transportation system. Notably, the railway line runs through buildings. However, this is quite normal in Zhongshan. You should get used to occasional images of trains passing overhead or through residential buildings. According to many tourists, the station names are relatively straightforward due to the complex terrain. For instance, the train announcement might say, the next station is the turn of the Kim family, the turn of the TA family. It's quite amusing when the train passes through someone else's house, isn't it? Number 23. Maiden tea. At first, the name maiden tea might sound like just another type of tea, so what's so peculiar about it? The uniqueness lies not in the tea leaves or the flavor, but in the method of harvesting and preparing this tea. Maiden tea is grown in the Hainan region of China and is exclusively plucked using the mouths of young virgin girls. After plucking, the tea leaves are placed in a basket positioned on their chests. Those who have tried this tea note that the brewed tea has a refreshing and uniquely delicious taste, absorbing the girl's saliva, sweat and body warmth. Would you dare to try this tea? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Number 22. 
Cricket fighting in China. Cricket fighting has been an entertainment for Chinese aristocrats for thousands of years, dating back to the Tang Dynasty. This tradition has persisted and is still enjoyed today. Each cricket combatant can be sold for thousands of USD. The most famous type is the fighting cricket in Sidian, found in the fields around the town. These crickets stand out with their large heads, strong mandibles, and powerful hind legs. Typically, each cricket is weighed and classified into different weight categories. A day before the competition, a female cricket is placed in the box to stimulate the fighting spirit of the male crickets. Number 21. Not sharing a pair. In Chinese, the word for pair is synonymous with separation. Therefore, Chinese people avoid sharing a pair with others to avoid bad luck and unfortunate events for both the person eating the pair and the one sharing it. Number 20. Urine boiled eggs. Apart from the peculiar drink of virgin boy tea, urine boiled eggs are another bizarre dish. This dish is a renowned specialty in Zhejiang, China. Just hearing the name might give you chills, but many tourists who have tried it can't stop praising it. This famous dish from Zhejiang involves boiling eggs in the urine of boys under the age of 10 for a day and night. According to ancient beliefs, this dish is considered delicious and nutritious because the urine from young boys is clean and has the ability to cleanse impurities and ward off bad luck. Would you dare to try this dish? If yes, feel free to leave a comment. As for me, I'm sure I wouldn't dare. Number 19. Geese as anti-theft guards. Instead of using dogs to guard against theft, police forces at a station in the Tianjiang province, northwest China, have employed geese as security guards. Geese have keen hearing and can make loud noises when intruders attempt to break in. Furthermore, as dogs are often susceptible to poisoning, the police prefer using geese. Large geese are often courageous and may advance towards strangers, attacking if necessary. Additionally, geese have poor night vision, making it difficult for thieves to approach unnoticed, especially if using poison bait. Surprisingly, the idea of using geese as an anti-theft measure has proven to be highly effective, with many unauthorized entries being thwarted thanks to the goose patrols. Number 18. Foot binding tradition in China. The practice of foot binding in China has almost become a traditional feature of the country throughout its feudal history. People believe that smaller feet are a sign of nobility, making each step graceful and elegant. Therefore, women created lotus feet by tightly binding their feet to make them smaller. There's also a theory that foot binding was seen as a way to control and reinforce the virtues of women. Specifically, women with tiny feet would find it challenging to leave the house easily, making it difficult for them to engage in extramarital affairs. The consequences of foot binding can have significant health risks for women. I'm curious to know your thoughts on this tradition. Feel free to comment. Number 17. Women wearing full cover at the beach. Instead of wearing revealing bikinis for a stroll on the beach, Chinese women often opt for full cover swimsuits. In general, and particularly in China, the ideal beauty standard for women involves having fair and white skin. The sun is considered an enemy to the skin. That's why many Chinese women wear full cover swimsuits, covering their faces meticulously, leaving only their eyes exposed. This not only protects the women's faces from the sun, but also shields them from jellyfish and algae. These swimsuits might look quite unusual, would you dare to wear a full face cover at the beach? Number 16. Automatic crab vending machine. In a city in China, aside from buying crabs at the market or supermarket, you can also choose to purchase them from automatic vending machines at subway stations. To ensure the crabs stay fresh but not alive, the machine is maintained at 5 degrees Celsius. The price for each crab is around $2 USD. Besides crabs, this machine also sells bottles of ginger vinegar in the upper compartment, even though these two items seem somewhat unrelated. In addition to crabs, Chinese vending machines also offer sweet pastries, tofu, and even boneless chicken feet. And if someone wants heartier food options, just a few steps away, there are machines selling freshly cooked noodles, pre-prepared eggs, clean vegetables, and ready-fried potatoes. 
Alongside these, the machines also serve fresh squeezed orange juice and coconut water. Number 15. Cockroach is a Chinese delicacy. If anyone here is afraid of cockroaches, let me know in the comments. I guarantee these dishes made from cockroaches will give you the chills. It may sound unbelievable, but cockroaches are indeed considered a delicacy in China. In Shandong province, China, locals often barbecue, boil, stir-fry or deep-fry cockroaches. Among these, fried cockroaches are considered a delicacy, attracting diners with their rich flavor, crispy texture and fatty taste. But that's not all, as in Sichuan province, China, a farm raises over 10 million cockroaches as a food supply for local restaurants. Roach sushi is one of the dishes prepared from this special ingredient. The sushi pieces are made with the usual ingredients, but instead of using meat or seafood as toppings, crispy fried cockroaches are placed on top. In Taiwan, a food supplier has introduced dried cockroach snacks. The manufacturer advertises these as clean, safe and delicious snacks. If you find the truth about this fried cockroach dish interesting, give our video a like. Number 14. Fresh air in a can. If you didn't know, major cities in China are often dubbed the most polluted in the world. To allow people to breathe air that's truly fresh, inventor Chen Guanbiao created a canister shaped like a soda can filled with purified air, priced at 5 TWD, equivalent to 1 USD. This product reflects the current environmental pollution situation in the country. The air can come in various product lines. If someone wants to immerse themselves in pristine air, the pure Tibet flavor is a suitable choice. Number 13. Traffic Jam Stand in Service China is a densely populated country with around 1.3 billion people. Consequently, traffic congestion is no longer a surprise in this country with the world's largest population. With extended traffic jams, sometimes lasting for days or weeks, the emergence of the stand-in service for traffic jams is a viable solution. Companies offering this service send someone to sit in your car and keep an eye out for you. The procedure is as follows, just call the company and inform them of the congested location. Two male employees of the company will arrive in a few minutes. One person will drive the customer to their destination on a motorcycle, while the other will sit in the car to watch over it. This service mainly appears in the city of Wuhan, famous for having the worst traffic congestion in the country. It's quite an interesting service, what do you think? Number 12. Living Keychain Animals One of the most interesting yet disturbing products that tourists can buy in China is the living keychain with live animals. Tiny turtles or moon-faced fish are packed in plastic bags or plastic balls filled with a type of nutrient-rich liquid. What's most peculiar is that this secret liquid can keep these tiny animals alive for three to four months. Some people buy them as lucky charms, while others purchase them with the intention of setting the poor animals free from those horrifying water bags. Of course, the question arises as to where these pitiful creatures get oxygen to breathe when the bag is sealed like that. And this secret may not be revealed by the manufacturers. What are your thoughts on this? I find this form of treatment towards animals quite distressing. Number 11. Dwarf Kingdom in China. The Dwarf Kingdom is not just a product of fairy tales, it has become a real tourist attraction in Yunnan Province, China. The amusement park, covering 13,000 hectares, resembles a miniature world for dwarfs with over 30 small houses. The dwarfs are the exclusive residents of this amusement park. What's unique is that the Dwarf Kingdom also has a king and queen. The king usually wears a yellow costume and strolls around, exploring the kingdom on a three-wheeled motorcycle. The dwarfs living here are actors, dancers or ordinary people from China with a height not exceeding 130 centimeters, and they come from all over Asia to live here and avoid the prejudice of people of normal height. To generate income for themselves, the residents have established a dwarf art troupe and regularly perform circus acts, magic and musicals for tourists. Number 10. Buying crocodile and shark meat in supermarkets. The Walmart chain is present in many countries worldwide, including China. However, you can only find incredibly bizarre items in Walmart China. 
For example, you can easily buy whole fresh crocodiles in the supermarket. Crocodiles are carefully iced along with other types of fish, but this isn't the most terrifying whole item available in Chinese supermarkets. There are also whole sharks sold here. If someone wants to choose between eating shark or crocodile meat, they should head to Chinese supermarkets. Number 9. 12-Day Traffic Jam in China Traffic jams are a nightmare for Chinese citizens, especially before and after each long holiday in the country. However, the most horrifying incident occurred in August 2010 when the Chinese government conducted maintenance on the expressway connecting Beijing to Tibet without proper planning, resulting in a severe impact on traffic. The most horrifying traffic jam stretched nearly 120 kilometers for over 12 days before gradually reopening. Approximately 10,000 stranded vehicles waited hundreds of police officers were mobilized. I wonder how people cope during those 12 days of traffic congestion. If anyone has any ideas, feel free to comment. Number 8. Dedicated lane for smartphone users. In Zhongshan, China, a lane has been designed exclusively for pedestrians who are glued to their phones. This special lane is dedicated to those addicted to staring at their phone screens without paying attention to the people around them. There have been various opinions on this matter. Some criticize the phone addicts, while others express concerns, particularly for blind individuals, who may collide with each other since they're focused solely on their phones. What do you think about this? Number 7. Hard to find cold water in China. Chinese people believe that drinking hot water can cure various illnesses such as colds and dysentery. This tradition dates to the 4th century BC, with the belief that drinking hot water is excellent for health, helping the body naturally purify itself, restore health and minimize diseases. Today, the habit of drinking hot water is still maintained and has become a hard-to-break routine for many people. Due to this habit, when visiting Chinese restaurants or eateries, customers are usually served hot water or hot tea. Finding a glass of cold water, let alone ice water, can be challenging. Number 6. Using separate social media platforms. Don't even try to access Facebook or YouTube in China, they are all blocked. As soon as you step into Chinese territory, you won't be able to use social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Google, Zalo, YouTube, all the banned in this heavily populated country. China uses Baidu instead of Google, Douyin instead of TikTok, and Weibo instead of Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat as a replacement for messaging apps like Messenger. It's tough for international students in China, their friends back home eagerly await every update, while they themselves have to find ways around the firewall to connect with friends. Number 5. Renting a boyfriend or girlfriend is extremely popular in China. Renting a boyfriend or girlfriend online for several hours or even months to have companionship and conversations has become popular among young people in China recently. For as little as 20 yuan, about 3 USD, one can rent a companion online for half an hour through a shop on Taobao, Alibaba's e-commerce platform. The rental price depends on experience, with beginners priced at 20 yuan per hour, while clients have to pay 160 yuan per hour for a professional. Many fake lovers are booked solid during holidays like the Lunar New Year, International Labor Day, or National Day due to overwhelming demand. Indeed, money can buy happiness. I wonder if you'd like to try the experience of renting a boyfriend or girlfriend. Let me know in the comments. Number 4. Tasting Spicy Ice Cream The cuisine of Sichuan, China is renowned for its spiciness, as traditional dishes are seasoned with Sichuan pepper and chili. These ingredients are extremely common in the kitchens of Zhongshan, the food served in Zhongshan is so spicy that tourists planning to visit need to be mentally prepared and train themselves for months before the trip. In fact, Zhongshan even has ice cream covered with chili oil. There are also various flavors of ice cream, such as Sichuan peppercorn sprinkled on top of cold ice cream. Ice cream, which is typically sweet, now has a strange and spicy twist. What do you think of this unusual ice cream flavor? Number 3 fake divorces to evade taxes. 
China's tax conditions stipulate that homeowners will be exempt from taxes if they are the sole owner and have held the property for a period of five years or more. For the second house and onwards, they must pay a 20% tax on the profit after selling. Therefore, couples just need to spend a small amount to complete a divorce to divide property ownership, then sell the house without paying taxes as required. This law has led to millions of fake divorces in China. Most of these couples have a common clause in their divorce agreement, stating that after the divorce, they will continue to live together. Some couples even remarry immediately afterward. Number 2. Unpopularity of the number 4 in China. While in the Western world, people are often superstitious about Friday the 13th, leading to the absence of the 13th floor in many elevators, in China, the number 4 is considered unlucky. This is because the pronunciation of the number 4 in Cantonese sounds like the word death. It can be observed most clearly that many elevators in China skip the 4th floor to follow Feng Shui principles. Number 1. Sleeping with 20 men before marriage. According to ancient customs in Tibet, girls before marriage must give themselves to at least 20 men. Given the sparse population in this region, it's challenging to accomplish this. To find the required 20 partners, girls have to walk along mountain paths. They spend many days waiting to encounter strangers and make every effort to help satisfy them. Afterward, the girl asks her partner for a souvenir to prove to the elders in the village that it has occurred no less than 20 times based on the number of souvenirs. I wonder what your thoughts are on this peculiar tradition. If you find this interesting, give us a like to continue exploring more strange customs in other countries. That concludes our exploration of 27 strange and fascinating facts about China. From convenient vending machines selling crabs to bizarre foods like fried insects and ghost weddings, it's truly eerie and peculiar, don't you think? Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on our latest videos. See you in the next one.